The first drop-down is where you will select the construction method that you want to look at. This list will get longer as you create new construction methods and the names in here will most likely have more significance to your shop. Select 32 mm to continue. The second drop-down is where you choose the construction type. You can have as many as five options in this list depending on what package of solid you are running, but you cannot add any new choices. The construction type that is assigned to the construction method will determine what questions will be asked throughout the wizard. For example, by selecting 32 mm, I have the interior case, exterior case, and operations categories. However, if I select one with a face frame construction type, the face frame category will be added to the list. Not only will the categories be different from one construction type to another, but in some cases the items available within each category will be different. If I open up Operations, I will find the Assembly Boring, Dado Joints, Line Boring, and Machining subcategories. However, if I change to one with a frameless construction type and open up Operations, the options have dwindled to Dado Joints and Machining. What we will look at later in the course is that even the questions within these options will differ between construction types. To determine which construction type you want to select for your construction method, you will first need to understand some of the differences between them. I will return to the face frame construction type. As you can see in the preview image and by the name of the construction type, this assembly will be built with a face frame. Another thing that will be determined by this construction type is how the doors and drawer fronts will be sized within each opening. To look at where that information will be gathered, I'm going to close this window 